Hopefully the sound's a little bit better in this video. We're going to go continue and um, duplicate this structure for the other side. So if I look at my other model, we've got this structure once. We've already drawn that. We're going to duplicate it to on this side. We're going to put the rails in, so front and back, and the top on. So lots to do in this video. Um, first thing, I've just changed the names here. So by double-clicking, I put front leg in by cleaning that up. Press enter. This one's called back leg. Um, don't worry about the one here. Sometimes that will appear depending on how many times I've duplicated it. Sometimes it even comes up and it says like three here because I've deleted two. So don't worry too much about that version number that sits there. Put the side rail in there. So let's get on with duplicating these. Um, we're going to use a, um, what we call mirror feature. So I'm going to select all of these by holding control down. Um, and selecting them all. If you're on a Mac, pretty sure um, might be Apple, uh, might be Shift. If we click the top one and the bottom one, and Shift. But just make sure they're all selected. Um, we're going to create a mirror. So under the Create, we're going to click Mirror, um, Capture Position. Now the type is important. We want components. Um, the object we've selected three already, um, and Mirror Plane. We'll select that kind of clicker. And we want to click on anything that's facing this direction. So you can see that's done the trick. So we've got kind of like um, face to face a mirror version of what we've just done. Now, these here, if I click and drag, you can see they kind of come out separately because the joins haven't come on with this. So if I press and control Z, we get back to where that was connected together. And the easy way to do this is by when I'm clicking the top and the bottom, I've used shift this time, right click and create a rigid group. Technically, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, um, but if you do that, it will stay together, just like this one has with the joins here. Um, if I want to hide those joins, I can kind of click here and click the eyeball, and they should disappear. Um, so the eyeball shows and hides that. You can see this one here is our uh, side panel. So by clicking it once, you can see it's underlined here. Um, if I want to get rid of that construction line, it would be in here under construction. So um, that was the mirror plane for those uh, dow holes we did. Now I want to also duplicate this panel. So it's probably best to go back to the first one, right click and copy and then up to the top and paste new. Now it's really important we click paste new, not paste. Now we're going to drag that out like that and we're going to rotate it from this handle 90 degrees and enter. Now you can see like it kind of looks like it's going to go together but it's like one of those fancy maze things that you need out of perspective yeah don't try and get these to line up like this it's just um, a waste of time like, just drag them apart we're going to use the join feature to assemble these together so we're going to click that one and that one and move along and zoom into the center of this point you should see it come together uh, jumped a bit of an odd odd jump there didn't it um I'm going to press Ctrl Z because I wasn't happy with that. So um, let's just try and work out what happened there. We need to make this piece longer. So let's click on it once, come down to the activation dot, and we are going to have a look at it along here. Now the mirror is still there, the construction line is still there. We need to go right back to this point here, and we're going to make this one longer. So when I double click it, it kind of like reverts back to this position. Just ignore that and work with it. Um, we're going to make this um, length 480 by 485. So there it is there. Set jump over 485. Enter so it's a little bit longer here. Now we're going to do the join. So you come up and activate the full component join. We'll zoom in on this one first, then we'll come into the leg and click that one. It comes together, we click OK, and that's looking better. So we click the join, come up to this one, and click this one, zoom out, 
spin it around. Zoom in on this one. Make sure you're hitting the center. Sorry, that one. jumpy. Comes together. So now we have got the uh, frame looking like it's coming together quite nicely. I'm going to create the rail that goes across here. So I'm going to create a sketch. No, we're not. Sorry. This is the trap I'll get into modeling in this format. We're going to right click and go create component first. We're going to call this component front rail. And we are going to um, activate that by clicking the activation. And now we do create sketch. Um, we're going to sketch on this side panel this time because we want it to go from here to here. So the side panel to start with, um, you can see it's way out in kind of space here. We'll fix that later. We're going to create a 19 tab 40. Let's think about that. And we're going to extrude this one. It's getting late. I'm making a few mistakes here. Extrude. You might have seen what I did wrong there. Sorry. Um, 485. Same as our back panel. And we're going to draw these um, dowel holes in here. So exactly the same as we did for the um, side panels. We're going to create a sketch on there. We're going to do our construction line through the center, looking for that triangle. We're going to do a circle without the construction line. Two at ten. Pressing D for dimension, they're 22 millimeters apart. That's because of our Dow boring machine. And it's 9 millimeters to the side. Click Finish Sketch. Extrude. And extrude minus 25. We're going to create that center plane. So drop down the construction menu, mid plane. Call it the center plane. It's actually mid plane. Center, I guess that makes sense. Click both ends, that creates that mid plane, and now we go about mirroring. So, yeah, each uh, is a mirror. We click feature in type, select the object, we select the mirror plane, we click OK. And it should be in both sides. Before we do anything with that, we're going to hide the construction plane by clicking the label. Now we can copy that component. And this time we're going to just do a paste because that's just going to be a duplicate of our project. So um, paste. So if I ever change one of them, they'll both change exactly the same. Pull it out into space, it doesn't matter where it goes. And now you can see this is the one that's activated, so we're going to join it. So we're going to join, let's join this piece here, so the center to this one here. And click OK, that brings it all together. And we'll do the same to the other one, so the front, doesn't matter which one it is, as long as they correspond. And we've got our cabinet together. So I think I can leave this mirror here. That's not a bad thing. That's just automatically kind of updated like that. I'll double click this and I'm going to call this, I'm going to get rid of the one. I'm going to call it the back rail. And front rail one and front rail two, that's good. And let's do a save. Um, when this comes up, version description, you don't have to write anything in there. If you want to, you can, but it automatically saves your version up here anyway. So um, no need to do that. Um, I think that's enough for this video. We're going to quickly do the um, top in another video.